Hey guys, welcome to the course SQL for Everyone. Uh, I'm really excited for all of you guys who are taking this course. The fact you are taking this course on SQL indicates that you somehow need to interact with database. SQL is a language you used to do just this. So before looking at SQL, it is important to understand some basic terminologies, some database technologies and things like that. Whether you are aware of this or not, you use database all the time. Um, each time you select a name from an email address book, you're using a database. If you conduct a search on an internet search site, you're using a database. When you log into a local network at work, you are validating your name and password against the database. Or even when you're using a TM card at a cash machine, you're using a database for pin number verification and balance checking. Um, so what the heck is a database? Database is a collection of data stored in some organized fashion. You can imagine database as a filing cabinet. A filing cabinet is just simply a physical location to store data regardless of what data that is, what the data is, or how it is organized. Um, so inside database we have tables. Table is a structured file. So what happens is when you store information in your filing cabinet, you don't just toss it in in a drawer. Rather, you create files within the filing cabinet and then you file related data in, there, in those specific files. In the database world, that file is called a table. A table is a structured file that can store data of a specific type. A table might contain a list of customers or any list of information. Tables are made of rows and columns. You can imagine table as, a, as an Excel spreadsheet or any kind of spreadsheet with tables and with rows and columns. Um, your table names will be unique. You cannot have two tables of the same name. Um, it's it's a best practice to have um, one table containing similar kind of information. So we can have a list of customers, a table with a list of customers, and the and the other table with a list of orders or list of product catalogs, things like that. So as I said, table looks like an as an as a spreadsheet. So here is a spreadsheet with rows and columns. As you can see, we have different columns here. Column A is ID, column B is customer company, column C is last name, column D is first name, and things and things like that. As you can see, columns have the same data type. For example, column C here, last name, contains all the last names here. We won't have uh, information like we won't have information like um, year or date in this column we will only have names we can only have names in this column databases are very strict about what kind of information or data goes into a specific column or table um, as you can see job title a job title won't contain any name in it it will have titles like owners uh, purchasing managers like all kind of job titles only job titles it's it's advisable and it's a best practice to actually separate out your data into different columns. A column for first name, column for second, uh, last name, a uh, column for job title, city, state, zip codes, and things like that. It actually makes it easier to access and retrieve that kind of data. So, what is a SQL? SQL, pronounced as SQL or SQL, is an abbreviation for structured query language. Um, SQL is a language designed specifically for communicating with databases and SQL is very easy to learn. It's just like plain English. Uh, the statements are all made up of descriptive English words and there aren't many of them. So as I said, it's pretty easy to learn. Uh, despite being really simple, SQL is actually a very powerful language um, and by using its language elements, you can perform very complex and sophisticated database operations. Um, so these are the basics as far as database concepts are concerned. Now on to the course. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next lecture.